Beloved Masters, you are a facet of the Creator's Spirit Essence, an individualized God Seed Atom. It is your I Am Consciousness with an inborn desire to express and create. The word spiritual does not refer to religion or religious dogma. It is a focus on the advancement from a present state of being, physical, emotional, mental, intuitional and social. It entails a refinement of the human instinctual nature into an evolved spiritual or human being ready to move into the rarefied environment of the fifth dimension. Enfoldment within higher consciousness results in a new state of awareness, which leads to new experiences, greater abilities and additional talents. Self-realization is the goal of today's advanced souls. It is vitally important that you learn to direct your personal stream of consciousness. The ego desire mind meanders down through the labyrinth of the subconscious mind, following the strongest patterns of the illusional past, or randomly selecting bits and snippets of painful or stressful events, which are strong enough to leave a lasting thought form. Controlling your moment-to-moment -moment mind chatter is an integral component in gaining mastery of self. In order to become a rational thinker with a clear mind, you must become an observer or a monitor of the mind's thought processes. Your soul self within the third and fourth dimensions is a sacred triad fragment merging with matter in order to experience the multiple densities of creation. The soul's primary motive is to infuse its host's personality with its portion of God essence. Its goal and greatest desire are to serve through repeated cycles of self-expressed individuality, with periodic impulses to again ascend into spirit form, while retaining wisdom from a vast array of cosmic experiences. Each sacred triad was diminished in light quotient as it moved further out into the void and the density of creation. The beginning, fifth dimensional stage of awareness, the densest, first sublevel will initiate a focus on the mental body and the integration of divine will. Specific evolutionary laws apply on each subplane as well as on each full plane of consciousness. As you move into the vibrational patterns of the fifth dimension, your cells, etheric body and auric field will begin an accelerated purification process. This process will facilitate, and will ultimately result in the downloading of the many facets of your higher self, and the beginning phase of reclaiming your higher frequency light body. Tranquility begins in the lowest level of the fifth dimension and strengthens exponentially. Gaining godly power and wisdom requires that you move beyond conditioned consciousness into attunement with your cosmic consciousness via the many facets of your higher self. Emotional stability and mental effort are required in order to successfully traverse the path of illumination. There is a law of equilibrium that applies within the fifth dimensional realms and above. Briefly, the sixth dimension is the dimension in which you will truly realize that you are immortal. You will embody a greatly expanded consciousness of the divine plan as you gradually reconnect with some of the more powerful levels of your sacred triads within this sub-universe. The seventh dimension is the final evolutionary boundary for human embodiment within this sub-universal experience. You will have a definite form, however, it will be gossamer and malleable. The first sub-level, the lowest in frequency, of the eighth dimension is the infinity gateway. You will be able to tap into many of its benefits as you gain the ability to integrate more and more of the higher frequencies. A trickle-down effect is initiated as you gain the ability to access each higher frequency level, whereby minuscule amounts of more refined God light begin to flow into your personal column of light, thus adding light to your auric field and vibrancy to your soul song. The full, radiant body of the soul, upon its home plane level, the seventh plane of the fourth dimension, was given the title the higher causal body by the ancient masters. As you become multidimensional, your perception of time becomes more fluid, and the concepts registered by your brain will be more complex and accurate. You are gradually developing control over and a continuity of consciousness, which will result in a clearer and truer spiritual perception. In order to develop your extrasensory abilities it is of vital importance that you be willing to spend time not only in meditation and contemplation, but in silence. One of the first steps in gaining self-awareness is controlling and silencing the constant mind chatter of the lower conscious mind. At the completion of overcoming all the challenges and tests of the third and fourth dimensions, the aspiring soul faces the final barriers leading to the entry, the first sub-level, of the fifth dimension. 
All of the soul fragments within the fourth dimension will have been cleansed, balanced, and integrated into the entity's four lower bodily systems. As a result, the seeker becomes a harmonized, balanced, soul-infused personality. The causal body sphere, which initially contained all of the original soul fragments sent forth into the third or fourth dimensions of this sub-universe, is now drawn back up into the fifth dimensional, first sub-level sacred triad, from which it originated. It is now no longer needed, for the soul-infused personality now a spiritual or human being is ready to unite directly with its fifth dimensional sacred triad. This sacred triad is the next higher facet of its original God Seed Atom within this sub-universal experience. The harmonized, fourth-dimensional emotional realm is now ready to integrate with the first sub-plane of the fifth-dimensional mental realm, which opens up a whole new world of experience and learning. For those who have not embraced the three godly qualities of divine will, divine love, and divine intuitive intelligence, it is impossible to comprehend the wonder of the future. Your consciousness refines itself as you progress in spiritual awareness, and you also develop an acute awareness and sensitivity as the vibrations and rhythms of sacred love well up within your sacred heart. Sacred love is the key which opens the doorway to the next level of higher evolution. As a soul-infused personality, you will become an earthly solar angel a radiant son of God. Many years ago, we explained to you, there are pyramids of light stationed within every dimension and sub-dimension throughout this sub-universe. Some are great storehouses of cosmic light substance, which are used in the creation of star systems, galaxies, and solar systems. There are also innumerable, smaller pyramids of light, which contain an etheric replica of all the God Spark fragments you have created on your journey into density. As you journeyed down through the multi-dimensions within this sub-universe, you refracted yourselves into smaller and smaller God Seed fragments. From the base level of the fifth dimension throughout all of the sub-dimensional realms up to the dimensional level in which your God Seed Atom, I Am Presence, resides, you have a sacred triad within a pyramid of light, awaiting your return. As you traverse the sub-levels of the fifth dimension, there is a sacred triad stationed within each of the seven sub-dimensional levels, each one diminished in size and light power from the one above. All of the sacred triads were sent forth directly from within the heart core of your God Seed Atom, and they have been stationed within every sub or full dimensional level, all the way down to the lowest, first subplane of the fifth dimension. In order to gain access to and connect with the higher mental body, you must strive to stay centered within the sacred heart. This process can only be initiated once you have a firm control over your physical emotional body. The conscious mind must have periods of silence in order to attune to the subtle whispers of the soul and your higher self. You will attain peace of mind by consciously breathing through the sacred heart, the infinity breath, which becomes a natural way of breathing once you establish the infinity pattern within your physical vessel, and practice the technique until it becomes a habit. It is vitally important that you learn to breathe mindfully. Through the process of focused breathing, by following the path of the breath, you will gradually become aware of the different parts of your body. Your body elemental signals of discomfort or disease are very subtle at first. If you do not heed these signals, they will gradually evolve into pain or possibly a serious illness. We have often said that moving out of your comfort zone and the collective consciousness belief structure is a very courageous thing to do. Bravely going forth to seek and live your own truth is the first step in taking back your personal power. As you release the shackles of the past, and come to the understanding that you are in control of your future, you begin the process of awakening to your potential as a master CO creator. As you gain wisdom, and begin to enjoy the positive results of your endeavors, you begin to trust yourself and your judgment. Your multi-sensory perception expands and becomes stronger, and you learn to view both the positive and negative results of your choices from a higher vantage point thereby gradually learning to make decisions from a heart-centered point of view. The process of ascending into the higher dimensional realms of greater light requires that you strive to unify your earthly consciousness with each higher vibrational level of God consciousness. The grand plan was designed so that your re-entry into the higher realms would be accomplished through the integration of the white fire seed atoms stored within the diamond core God cell of each more advanced facet of your higher self. One by one, step by step, 
you are integrating the willpower, the wisdom, the attributes and qualities of each vaster facet of your oversoul. How quickly and easily you accomplish this is up to you, for you were given the gift of free will, which is an important component within the grand design for this sub-universal experience. Every facet of creator consciousness in this sub-universe has experienced soul-body fragmentation, and every soul, at every level and station of beingness, is now in the process of healing and reuniting with the many facets of itself. You will integrate as many facets of self as is humanly possible while in your present physical vessel, and the process will continue as you traverse the higher realms of existence. You are biocomputers with harmonic resonance. Each of you is a complex vibratory being. You have become accustomed to the slower, denser energy of the third or fourth dimensions, however, you are in the process of balancing, harmonizing and lifting the resonance of your force field in order to ascend into a more refined, higher dimensional state of being. You must remember that you are a unique facet of the Creator, and you should treasure your uniqueness as you strive to return to the oneness of your Divine Self. Remember, as you lift your consciousness and return to harmony within, you will radiate forth more refined frequency patterns, and therefore, you will attract to you those who are embodying and radiating the same harmonic light patterns. The reunification process entails rejoining multiple facets of self as well as reuniting with many members of your closest soul companions on the journey. The ascension process is a time of reunion at many levels of God consciousness. Remember, we are only a heartbeat and a thought away. We enfold you in the radiant sacred love of our Father or Mother God. I am Archangel Michael.